talk about Kentucky Derby parties because it's coming up soon. It's usually the afternoon of the first Saturday in May, and it has been for the last 140 years. And it's held at Churchill Downs, which is a horse racing center in Louisville, Kentucky. And I have been lucky enough to go to Louisville, Kentucky and go to Churchill Downs and watch horse races. I've done it twice. However, I've never been to the Kentucky Derby. It's on my list. One of these days I'm going to check that off because I cannot wait to go and see all of the glamorous ladies with their beautiful hats and the gentlemen with their bow ties. And I can tell you when you arrive at Churchill Downs, you feel that southern charm. It has that warmth and easy elegance that you feel in the south. So that's what I'm going to bring into our house for a Kentucky Derby party. Of course you want to include a few elements of the actual Kentucky Derby in your home when you have a Kentucky Derby party. So you want roses because of course it's called Run for the Roses because they present the winner of the race, the jockey and the horse with roses. So you want to include that in your party. And who doesn't want to ask everyone to wear a beautiful hat and the gentlemen to wear bow ties so you can feel that real charm that you feel at Churchill Downs. And it's so much fun because after you've had a mint julep, it all turns into even more fun with those hats and bow ties. And what else would you have? Oh, well, if you had your party in the afternoon when the actual derby is run, you could simply provide tea sandwiches and appetizers. But for those people who are true race enthusiasts and they live in Louisville, Kentucky, they usually have parties for two weeks leading up to the actual race. And no party is too elegant or too large. So they provide lots of food and beverage. But you don't have to go that far, but you certainly can if you'd like. But let's go ahead and make a mint julep because mint juleps and roses are the common thread for every Kentucky Derby party. So what you will need is ice, simple syrup, and you will remember from previous videos I had told you how to make simple syrup. It's simply one part water and one part sugar and you heat it until the sugar dissolves and you have simple syrup. And you can use it not only for mint julep or cocktails, but you can use it for iced tea and for juices. If you like fruit juice a little sweeter, then you can just add some simple syrup to it. So it does come in handy for other things. You will want mint, and I love the scent of this mint, and I love crushing it and getting that mint oil into the air. It is just heavenly. And then you will need bourbon, preferably Kentucky bourbon. So, and if you have never been on a Kentucky bourbon trail, that is a great way to spend a long weekend in Kentucky. You can go and visit the bourbon facilities, just like you would for wine vineyards in Napa Valley. And you get to see all of the rolling hills and beautiful horse farms. It is exquisite. You will need cups. Now I have mint julep cups, but if you don't want to invest in mint julep cups, just use rocks glasses. It works just fine. You will need, like I said, ice, but I could not find any crushed ice locally right now. I have no idea why, but I have this cocktail ice. But if you have crushed ice, that's even better. And, of course, we talked about roses, but that doesn't go in our mint julep. That is just for decor. So let's get started. We are going to take our mint julep cups. I'm going to make two mint juleps. And you will want to use a half an ounce of simple syrup in each cocktail. So a half an ounce. Now, once you've made this and you decide you'd like it a bit sweeter, just add a splash of simple syrup, and then you will have the perfect cocktail for you. 
Now you will want two ounces of Kentucky bourbon. So we're gonna add two ounces. It's not a huge cocktail, it's just a sipping cocktail. So you can sip and watch. Or sip and see, how about that? that? I don't know if you've ever heard that term, but living in the South for a very long time, you have sip and sees when you go to see the, a new baby. You go in, you go to visit to see the baby and they give you either a little cocktail or a cup of tea and you sip and see. But we're going to sip and see the Kentucky Derby. Now we have our simple syrup, we have ice, and we have our bourbon. And I have two different kinds of bourbon here. It doesn't really matter if you have a particular brand that you love. That's the one you want to use. This is Jefferson's Small Batch Blend Straight Bourbon Whiskey, and this is Elijah Craig. I This is also Small Batch Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So I'm going to finish up that bottle before I even break into this one. So now we want to garnish, and you always garnish with a sprig of mint. So I like to take the mint. I have this in water to keep it fresh. And I love to crush it just a teeny bit to bring out that aroma. And when you're sipping it, and you can smell that wonderful mint smell. And here's another large piece. And I'm taking off the bottom leaves so it will stay in the cup a bit better. So we've bruised those mint leaves. So now we have our bourbon, we have our simple syrup, we have our ice, we have our mint. And that's it folks, that is it. You are ready to watch the Kentucky Derby. Oh good. Yummy, you will love that. And I think you're going to enjoy this cute little cocktail and I love the fact that it's getting all frosty on the outside of the cup from the ice. You will have your cocktail, you'll have tea sandwiches or a full buffet if you want to have that many people and the more the merrier when you're watching the Kentucky Derby. If you have the opportunity to go to Churchill Downs or especially if you go to the Kentucky Derby, I would love to hear about that. That would be fabulous. That one and a quarter mile race that lasts two minutes is seen by about 150,000 people in Churchill Downs and millions worldwide because it's televised. But what fuels most of the excitement is the gambling, the racing, the enthusiasm, and a few mint tulips. <laughs> so enjoy the Kentucky Derby, which is called the most exciting two minutes in sports. And thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please tap the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye.